Hello, welcome to Luxury Calvin. I'm Calvin, duh. Um, so today we have another video from Sephora and from Sephora, from a Sephora haul I did the other day. And I got the new NARS, uh, what is this called? Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. So this is the packaging. Uh, I got three colors and here they are. So those are the three colors that I got. Getting a haircut, which is why I have a cap on today. And don't talk about the Christmas tree because that's coming down today, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and start swatching. And also I'm gonna give you info about this new NARS powder as well. This new NARS powder is $36. And on the Sephora, web on the Sephora website, it's claiming it's a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections, smooths the look of the skin, smooth the look of the skin and sets makeup for up to 24 hours um, it says it has medium coverage matte finish it has some skincare in it it has like cocoa butter treated mica minerals uh, which helps to glide on effortlessly leaving skin feeling like silk niacinamide which uh, minimizes the appearance of pores and it has adaptive oil control technology dual powder system traps excessive sebum and metifies oily areas okay one thing off the bat before i even open it i have to say is that it's super thin which i guess it it's a good thing but because it's so thin it literally i don't know it just seems kind of thin you know and also initial impressions is they're still doing that that traditional NARS packaging where it shows your fingerprints so that's just something that you know you need to be aware of because if you're someone that uses their powder frequently you're gonna have like foundation all over this from your fingers or your brush but that's just that's just you know being a little picky so I got Cove so this is Cove you got Cove you got Bay and you have Sunshore Honestly, I don't know about Cove and Sunshore. Bay looks good. But let's see. Looking at these. Looking at these three, it looks like Bay is going to be the best because it has a yellow undertone. So if you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to put on my face and we'll get and then we'll try on the setting powder or the pressed powder. Okay, I did something different today. So we just did a little bit of un under underpainting. Is that what we call it now? Um, so we just did a little concealer in like the center of the face and then I did my Mario Skin Enhancer. I don't want a lot of makeup today just because I'm getting my hair cut, but um, let's, so this is the skin before any powdering. Here you guys can, here you guys can see. So very minimal coverage. I, you know, I just don't want a lot today. Let's try this. Let's try this with a brush and let's see what it looks like. 
we're gonna uh, use the color Bay because I really think that that's gonna be the best color for my skin. Just because, I mean, I could probably even use Sunshore, but that's just gonna be kind of pinkish, you know? So you got, let me move the mirror out of the way. So you got Bay and you have Sunshore. See like the difference that it looks? Yellow and pinky peach. I'm gonna take just my usual Morphe brush that I use to set my under eyes and we're just gonna, we're gonna dip right in. Wow, that picks up, that picks up a lot. Like if you guys can see, there's a lot of like uh, kickback. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Wait a minute, hold on. By the way, there's construction if you can hear it, some knocking on the door. Okay, wow. This powder is amazing. That looks, wow, do you guys see, do you guys see that? Look at the, so look at this side and then look at this. Wow, that's, um, that looks good. Let's do the other side. That knocking is so annoying. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I am putting a lot on, but this seems like it's very buildable. And it also seems like as I'm putting more on, it's not getting cakey, which is a good thing. It's not, it's not getting cakey as I, as I pile more on. All right, here's my skin with the shade Bay. What do we think? Do we like it? It looks pretty smooth. It really does blur your pores and it mattifies pretty well. And it has a little bit of coverage. I wouldn't say this is medium coverage. I would say this is like a light to medium coverage um, because it's not like, I feel like this can, this can kind of be powder foundation in a way because it has a little bit of coverage for people that don't like a lot of powder, but yeah, this looks real, this looks, this looks really good. My first impressions as I'm, as I'm putting this on, this really reminds me a lot of the... It reminds me of two powders. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and it reminds me of the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. Uh, Makeup Forever has more coverage, though, but the smoothness, it reminds me of um, those two. But let's see how this wears. So I'm just going to add... Just a little bit of my Mario Skin Enhancer, just a little bit. Just over the cheeks, just a little bit. Just so it kind of looks um a little bit more cohesive. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Here, how, what do we think? I'm not going to bother swatching these other two colors, even though I have them. I'm not going to bother swatching them just because... They're too light against my skin and they're too pink. So but let's just call check-in time now. So check-in time is now 11.37. Um, and this is the face at 11.37. So we'll just, let me close these mirrors. So we'll call a check-in time now at 11.37. What do we think? I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Let's see how this is going to work. I have a lot to do today. Um, we're going to take down the Christmas tree. We're getting a haircut. So we will see how this wears later tonight. Hello, I'm back. Um, today was a very uneventful day. Um, I didn't do anything. I put this on at like 11 something and it's currently now um, 8.54. So here's, or 8.55. So what is that, like nine hours? Didn't do much. Tree's still there. I'll get to it eventually. Just took a long nap. This is what it looks like at the end of the day. And obviously keep in mind, this is me not doing anything today. Like we had Chinese New Year lunch meal and just took a lovely nap. Um, so here's what it looks like. I will tell you, I don't know if it's me from napping, but on the forehead, it's pretty cakey. You guys might be able to tell or might not. I can't, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is 
I'm undecided as of right now. Um, just because I really... I have work tomorrow, so I'm going to wear this tomorrow for a full day. And we're going to see how this wears tomorrow because... As of today, I didn't do anything, but also usually, I will say, usually when I take a nap and I wake up, my skin is usually really glowy and makeup isn't usually separated. But today, like the forehead is really cakey, if you can see. Now, there's a part where it's like missing foundation right here, which is totally normal because, I mean, you're sleeping, napping, but it's actually pretty cakey. Makeup has settled into this, into the, um... The forehead but i'm going to do this i'm gonna do another word test tomorrow um and so we will call today as undecided and then i'll give my final thoughts tomorrow so i will see you guys in tomorrow's video